Rumors point to an Apple bringing an iris scanner to some future iPhone eventually. Google Play family goes live for all of you wanting to share, and it seems that the second generation Apple Watch is right around the corner. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'm extremely curious over what your daily driver is. I'm actually currently using the HTC 10. Leave us a comment down below. This is Pocket Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you are in the market for the Huawei watch, which continues to be my favorite smartwatch of choice, it's currently for $200 at B&H if you follow a specific coupon code, but that coupon code is limited and the time is limited as well, so I highly suggest you hit the link in the description. Other official news come from Moto. I don't even know if I should call it Motorola still, but Moto, the Lenovo company, has just announced that the Moto Mods developer portal is now available. If you are interested in building your own Moto Mods or something that you're willing to sell, this is pretty much the time. It's rather interesting. We wonder exactly what type of Moto Mods we're gonna get going forward mainly when the Moto Z is not really that popular yet. We'll see how long that adoption takes. And then other official news come from Google. The company has just announced that Google Play family sharing is now available. If you're in a household of up to six people, you will be able to share your applications in addition to other media. And uh, this has taken forever because you've been able to share Apple applications, iOS applications for the longest time on iTunes. So uh, yeah, it's great to see that Google finally reaches the bandwagon. Obviously you have to share the same credit card and a whole lot of other things that won't make you wanna share this with your friends. Yeah. Now let's move the spotlight over to the rumor mill for those of you wondering exactly when we're getting the next Apple Watch, and I know there's probably just around 10 or 12 of you. Um, yeah, it seems that Apple is working on giving us the second generation unit at the same time that the next generation iPhone will be announced. And since the rumors are that it will be announced in early September, we can expect that next generation Apple Watch. We're just wondering if Apple is going to make an early launch of that product or an immediate one, or if we're actually going to have to wait another six months. Now, the rumors are that we're getting the same hardware, only better specifications. So uh, yeah, let's see. And finally, the very hot rumors today have to do with the iPhone something, because we're not exactly sure what model it is. There are trusted sources claiming that Apple is working on iris scanning, but not the way we currently have it, with a separate lens on devices like the Galaxy Note 7 that's coming, or on the Lumia lineup from Microsoft. Apparently, Apple is working on bringing this to the selfie camera because the company obviously wants to keep its minimalistic design, and I almost got stuck saying that, but uh, it's minimalism with uh, whatever we get on iPhones. But it's rather interesting because obviously it becomes even creepier. No longer do you have a separate lens that activates when you are getting scanned. This is pretty much the selfie shooter, which actually leads me to the question of today. Do you consider that the future like this would be creepy where, you know, the iris scanner pretty much resides on the selfie camera? You don't really know if it's scanning you. You pretty much have no way to hide. You are telling the world that you are using your phone in a moment and that phone actually can track you in every single way. I know technology is getting crazy. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. I don't like it. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketout.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also catch our videos on Vessel, vessel.com slash pocket now, and follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.